forced to adapt this season and how well has that process gone for you? Um, I think just as a team we've done a great job obviously we could have gone our separate ways with each other but I think it brought us even closer to get it together throughout the season so um, in that sense I feel like we took it pretty well just stuck to our bases just yeah. And then what's it been like this season as a rookie being able to play behind someone like Mandy um, who gets her first national team call up uh, gets to start um, I guess what have you learned from her, and this, what's, your, what's your first season been like learning the ropes at NWSL? Um, it was chaotic at first, but obviously um, I've learned a lot throughout the season. I've tried to be as open as possible, just trying to learn different things. Obviously for Mandy, who, um, who has great experience, like you said, she was able to go to the U.S. team, so obviously very happy and proud of her. Um, but just trying to learn everything I can um, from her to see if it works for me. If not, seeing what coaches have to say. Um, but overall, yeah. <laughs> I lost that. Speaking of Mandy, she's looking for a goalkeeper glove that will allow her to have some tips on her finger now. So as somebody who has her own glove, oh. maybe you could help yeah. prototype one of those that allows <laughs> the keeper. I don't know keeper. if that's, okay, I'll have to talk to her about that, but yeah. I don't think that's going to be possible. <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, what are your plans for the off season? Anything fun and exciting? Um, not really any vacation, but obviously I'm going home to Florida, so that's vacation enough. I'm just excited to see my family, um, some friends, relax for a little bit, and then just get back after it. Yeah, I'm curious when you say relax a little bit, just how much are you going to allow yourself? When will you get back into it? And do you already kind of have a game plan in terms of training and preparing for 2025? Yeah, I have uh, a great support system, support system there. So I have a couple of things set up, strength and conditioning wise, soccer. Um, but I'll probably take like a week off, I think. Um, I'll do some walking around. I'll walk around the neighborhood. But yeah, I think I'm excited to just take a deep breath and then restart it all again. Thank you. This was a year of a lot of learning experiences, both as an expansion team, the club, the organization, the coaching change, all that, but then also a lot of rookies like yourself. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like you learned the most this year? Like, what do, what do you feel like you can take away from it as if it were like a classroom experience, kind of learning to be a professional? Um, just coming in every day with an open mind, um, ready to learn something different, ready to apply something different to the game. Um, say so that's the biggest one. Do you feel like there was a foundation set on this team? Because it was the first year of a club and sometimes it did feel like the plane was flying while you were still building it and you know working on the wings and that kind of thing. Do you feel like you set a, a foundation for maybe something more next year or in years to come? For sure. I think definitely uh, just throughout the season we've tried to have meetings just to figure out what that foundation means to us. and. Um, Obviously, we still want to continue to improve on that to make sure that this team has long-term success. So um, next year, we'll obviously have more meetings to talk about it, but I think we've set a, a good standard so far. Uh, <clears throat> what, what can you tell us about what you like more about being a professional soccer player and on your rookie year? What do you like most and what do you enjoy, enjoy most? Um, this team is super special, so obviously everybody on the team I've become fairly close with. Um, so that was fun. Also traveling. I mean, we got, I got to see a couple of states I've never been in before, so that was always fun, and I did it with great people as well. So put those two together, and I had a good time. What do you like to improve on your goalkeeping abilities, or what do you want to do during this offseason to keep in, in your game? Yeah, um, I think just getting stronger. I want to come back and uh, just be more powerful. So I think strength and conditioning-wise, I can get ahead of that. And, yeah, I think that's a good one right now. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Oh, I have a question. Oh. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> um, how important was it for you to have someone like Ro or like Lofo, um, who you played with at college, be here with you as in your rookie years? You're both, you know, learning to be solid. Yeah, so for the longest time it felt like we were at soccer camp 
because obviously she was my roommate throughout college, so I was so used to her being next to me. We had school, so that was um, fun, but obviously just having each other whenever we needed. Um, it could be a demanding game sometimes, demanding practices, so um, just being able to go back and talk to each other, know what each other needs, know when each other needs space, so um, just having her here was actually a game changer, so. Next year. We've heard a little bit from several players about you know the culture in the locker room and you guys really leaning on each other during obviously trying times during parts of the year. And I guess my question is, is there a an ability for that culture to help like Kelly and Jimmy and other people that are so new to NWSL and obviously this is a new club and now we've got a new CBA and new rules for recruiting college players and everything. So that culture, the facilities, like, I guess, what is just some of the things that maybe excite you about this club going into next year and continuing the growth? Um, every single person is so competitive, so it's awesome going into literally anything we do. We want to make each other better. Um, so I think that's a big thing within the team that we can um, make sure we keep up for next season as well. Um, we have some prospects on the team that are go looking at the U.S. team or any national team that they want to go to. So being able to be there for each other and be excited for their success and want to help them get there, um, I think is a great opportunity for the whole team. Awesome. Thanks, Rose. Awesome. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.